everyone, I'm Marissa Santora of In Our Shoes. And today I wanna to talk to you about a topic that I've been getting in a lot uh, from our newsletter on owning your authority and what not to do in terms of leadership. I think you're gonna really find uh, some, some, some things that might resonate with you as well in your career. Well, first off, before I get started, let's just talk about why it's so important to establish your credibility in owning your authority. Because it may seem obvious, but there are some key uh, really key uh, target areas which you can uh, you know, reap the results from uh, when you really think about how you can stand out more effectively as a leader in your industry, in your niche. So first of all, you know, owning your authority is what keeps you memorable, right? And why do you want to be memorable? Uh, well, basically so that you can get referrals, right? If you're looking for a new job, someone can, you know, refer your name on or, or stand behind you, put their name on the line to support you. So that's one of the, one of the key reasons why you really want to establish yourself uh, and, and your reputation you know, as a professional expert. The second reason is really for credibility. Uh, you know, you want to establish yourself if you're posting anything on LinkedIn or let's say you're doing a webinar or you're just getting on the phone with someone and answering some questions about how you work and what you do or what your project or team or department does, right? You want to stand in your, your value and you want to own it. And then lastly, you know, the really, uh, a really powerful thing that a lot of people don't think about is, you know, everything in this world can use improvement, right? Or there's always some inefficiency out there in maybe the way your department or you and your team do business. When you're owning your authority, you're able to swiftly find that void and fill it, right? And so people who don't own their authority, they're not so swift in that, in that uh, two-step strategy, right? They're, uh, you know, they don't act on it. They don't act on the instinct. They don't make decisive decisions. They don't see problems as opportunities. But when you're owning your authority, every problem is an opportunity, right? Every challenge is a solution waiting to be solved. Uh, so really, really key. But let's talk about some of the things that are not happening in the career uh, you know, world when you're, when you're trying to establish yourself as a credible expert. And, and let's, let, let me just say it's, it's leadership, it's not management, right? You don't have to manage people necessarily. We're talking about leadership. So on the career front, one of the biggest things that I've seen where professionals are not owning their authority is when they're going off, right, and they're talking all about them, right? You're making it all about you. And if you're talking to a client, an internal client, a potential client, a prospect, right, who is wants to work with you, right, and they're really excited, maybe they were referred to you, and now they're on the phone with you, or they're in a Zoom call, or whatever it is, doesn't matter what the channel is, and you're just talking about yourself, right? You're talking about all the things that you do, but you're not focusing on them and why they should hire you, right? So that's one of the biggest, biggest mistakes. And I know it's so easy. We are all subject to this, right? Uh, it's, it's very easy to go that route. It's not that you're not, uh, and you are aware of the results. It's not even like you don't know those results, but you're not communicating that. So that's one of the biggest faux pas uh, when it comes to really establishing your credibility when you're in front of your either existing clients or potential clients that would wanna hire you. The other thing is, uh, another key, uh, key uh, mistake that I've seen is when uh, you know, professionals are going on and on and on and they're going off on a tangent and they're losing people, right? So if you feel like you might be losing your audience, and I don't mean literal audience, I'm not saying you're in a webinar and you're talking to 10, 15, 100 people, I'm talking about even that one person. If you're going off and you know, you're not getting to the point succinctly, you're not hitting those beats, right? At Gutsy, at Gutsy Leadership Academy at GLA, we talk about hitting the beats. Uh, if you're not doing that, then you're gonna lose them. So you know, maybe they were very interested in working with you, but that's sort of a preview of what it's, gonna, what it's going to be like to work with you in the future. Same thing on an interview. So you really wanna get to the point and make sure you're hitting those beats and really clear and concise. And the other thing, uh, often, often this is a biggie, uh, and it really applies to everything, not just in leadership. Uh, it's really the follow-up. Uh, oftentimes we feel that radio silence means no, right? When we don't hear back from someone or someone doesn't follow up with us or they promise something, they don't deliver, right? We assume radio silence means no, and we don't really, uh, you know, move forward and instinctually pick up the phone and, and follow up. Right? So when you're owning your authority and you're establishing yourself as a leader, uh, you have to sort of let, let down the ego. Uh, you know, ego has a lot of uh, you know, landscape that it likes to dominate in, in your world. Let down the ego, don't assume the worst, don't assume that you know, people are ignoring you or, or just not interested or rejecting you, right? Fear of rejection, one of the biggest things that drive your decisions. 
you know, really recognize that radio silence is not no, and so even more so, you know, pick up the phone, get the real story. Oftentimes, right, people just forget, or maybe that just wasn't a priority, right? No shame or blame in that. Other things going on, right? Lots of lots of things moving and shaking uh, in in our world right now, right? This is not a, a normal. This could be the new normal, but people really haven't settled into the new normal yet. And so you have to be, you know, really um, aware of that, uh, compassionate about that, and, and recognize that you're probably, you know, the same way in, 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 in your world as well. Maybe you're not following up with others. So, you know, bring the human back into that relationship and just, you know, pick up the phone. Don't assume radio silence is no. And, uh, and go in there with your gut and, and you know, bear the risk of, of, fear, of fearing, uh, you know, maybe that rejection or, or awkwardness and, and go for it anyway. Go with your gut. I'm Marissa Santoro from In Our Shoes, empowering professionals to lead with influence by communicating their value and, right, communicating from their gut, from their instinct. All right, we'll talk to you soon. I hope this has supported you and please leave a comment below so we know uh, how this supported you.